what is the H3O plus and pH constant, uh, what is the H3O plus concentration and pH of a 0.1 molar uh, benzoic acid solution. So our equation here, or yeah, our, uh, our chemical reaction is going to be an acid base, so it's going to be uh, add water, and we're going to go to H3O plus uh, plus C7H6. Nope. So we're going to donate a hydrogen, so it should be H5O2 plus. I'm just going to migrate this down a little bit. Or a lot. There, there you go. Okay, so, um, all right, and it's given that our Ka is 6.5 times 10 to the minus 5, and that our starting concentration is 0 0.100 molar. Um, now, uh, to find our, our, our concentrations at equilibrium, we can use um, our ice table. All right, so initially we have zero of the, this and zero of this. Uh, water is our solvent, so we don't need to consider that, um, the concentration of that species, as it basically doesn't change. Um, oops. <laughs> So the change is going to be minus x, and everything's at a one-to-one -one mole ratio, so that means we're going to add x. And so that at equilibrium, we have 0 0.1 minus x, x, and x. And so our Ka is concentration of H3O plus, Concentration of, uh, that should be minus. Concentration of C7H5O2 minus over our concentration of C7H6O2. And these are at equilibrium, so these are x, x, and 0.1 minus x. Um, as our Ka value is so small, likely our x value is going to be small, and so the approximation here is that 0 0.1 minus x is approximately 0 0.1. And so then we can simplify things greatly by doing that because now we have 6.5 times 10 to the minus 5 times uh, 0 0.1, uh, actually I'll just do it fully, is equal to x squared over 0 0.1. And so then solving for x squared here, we have x equals the square root of 6.5 times 10 to the minus 6. Uh, so solving the square root, we get x equals uh, 2.55 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. Okay, which kind of validates um, that assumption as 0 0.1 minus this is going to be approximately 0 0.1. And so our pH is the negative logarithm of our H3O plus concentration, which I should say, write our, our X from our ice table is our H3O plus concentration. So that means we were solving directly for our H3O plus concentration. And so our pH is the negative logarithm of our X or the negative logarithm of 2.55 times 10 to the minus 3 molar, or 2.59. OK. 
Okay, so we can work through this and um, I guess some rounding error gave us a difference of 0.01, but that's okay. And so I'll say the solution is correct. So that looks good.